Have you ever seen hail the size of a tennis ball? Some say it's strong enough to sink a ship. To put that to the test, Carrie carved giant hailstones out of ice, while Tori built an air cannon using steel pipes and compressed air. This thing could launch objects at speeds of up to 500 miles per hour. They set up three small boats made of different materials. First up, the aluminum boat. At 80 miles per hour, the ice shot out of the cannon didn't even leave a scratch. Definitely no holes. Even the weakest wooden boat held up just fine at that speed. Things only changed when they cranked the speed up to 300 miles per hour. That's when the wooden boat finally took a hit, but the hole appeared right where the hull was already damaged. When they tried again on a solid spot, nothing happened. Now, some people argue that hail doesn't hit from the side. It falls straight down, and it can hammer the same spot over and over. So they moved the test out to open water. They used a crane to lift the air cannon and fire straight down at the boats. At 300 miles per hour, the fiberglass boat survived the impact. But the wooden boat? The hailstone punched right through. The problem is, hail that fast has never been recorded in real life. So they scaled it back to realistic speeds, 80 and 130 miles per hour. At 1.30, the hail was just strong enough to punch through the hull. So what does that mean? Well, it would take an extreme situation for hail to actually sink a boat. Even if it pounded the same spot over and over, the material would have to weaken first. But once it does, in theory, hail could send a boat to the bottom. 